Henry, I love this wood. What kind of wood is it? This is a West Indian satin wood. What's lovely about this early satin wood from the Caribbean is it uh, fades to a wonderful golden color. What's also fascinating about this piece of furniture by comparison perhaps the pieces downstairs mm -hmm. is that this, as many pieces of 18th century and historically antique furniture, shows you how people used to live in days past. Yes. This ratchets up. Ooh. It has a removable slide here on which you can support a book to read. Wonderful. Actually, what it was meant for is something a little bit more elaborate even than that. Inside this drawer, beautifully fitted with mahogany, is the original artist's palette. Oh my goodness. In which you'd have had all your watercolors. So here, you'd have had a small ladies, probably, amateur painting table on which you'd have had your colors in here, your painting up here, and your lights, because of course there were no electric lights in the 18th century, your candles here, so that you could, thank you Louise, paint. You know what I love are the little escutcheons. What are they made of? Here and here, this is all ivory. Beautiful. And this is the original gilded brass. But again, you can see the slight combination that we've been talking about of different quotations within the period of neoclassicism in the late 18th century with the turned legs and this slightly elaborate collar and yes. foot down to the toe. So we're using that column. We're using a column idea. again, yes. but we're articulating it with a slightly different language. And again, behind you, this table is something that is very similar, roughly the same period. We're talking here 1790s to 1800s. They're spectacular, aren't they? Again, great timber. Yeah. Here you have a burr elm as the main timber, and then satin wood and rosewood as the residual timbers. Ooh. But here, inlaid with this gilded brass and this brass edging, just to give it that little bit more bling yes. for the 18th century. Th that, I'm not too sure that word is ever used in the 18th century, the but that's what it was. The zaz, <laughs> have what you will. I love these little acorns yes. and the spade feet. Always quoting again, when you became more confident, mm -hmm. a national language, not a Roman language. You saw downstairs the goats' yes. heads, the very classical. Yes. Here they are taking the acorn as a sign of Britain and they're putting oh. that on their neoclassical table and trying to make Britain a greater classical yes. country by doing so. Very interesting, like a political statement. Yes, very much a political statement. Yes.